From Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up a rounded rectangle and draw a rounded rectangle. Use the yellow handles to take full curvature. Make a copy of this while holding the control button and keep it to one side. Make another copy and keep it as a spare one. This one you convert into a proper rectangle. Give it red color and no outline. Use a rectangular box and draw it so it covers both the shapes. Then right click send to back. Select this rectangle and click on this rounded rectangle and say merge shapes shape subtract. Draw a line to connect the top to bottom and move it down. Give it black color. Make 7 more copies by pressing ctrl D 7 times. Select everything. Align middle. Distribute horizontally. Ctrl G to group it. Place it so it covers the first edge and then drag it so it covers the other edge. Now we have this rounded rectangle divided into 10 portions. Then move this red rectangle so it covers half the rounded rectangle like so. Then right click on this rectangle, bring it to front and give it white color and no outline. Then click on the spare one you got, make no fill, shape outline, black and increase the thickness of the weight and right click bring to front and place it right on top of the rounded rectangle. Draw another line, give it red color, increase the thickness and place it at the edge of the previous shape and insert a hand icon and place it right touching this line. Select the line and hand icon and make it a group. Now place this to one side, make a copy and place it below the previous one if you want to add another data point. You can adjust the size and make it even smaller like this. Add your labels. Then make a duplicate and then by selecting this rectangle and this group, move it so it shows 30% because that is the first data that we want and we have our text added to give the explanation. Now duplicate the slide, move the rectangle and this group to reflect the percentage shown, add your explanation. Repeat the process for the third one as well. Then from the second slide onwards, select everything and add a morph transition. Go to the first one, click the first percentage shown with explanation, click the second percentage shown with explanation and click the third percentage shown with explanation. In the meantime, do you want to learn some simple and creative PowerPoint ideas you can use in your next presentation? Then click on the link here to join our 5-day free email course called 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas. These are simple, quick and useful PowerPoint ideas I have not shared elsewhere. So go ahead, click on the link, join the course and I will see you inside.